Good time. Welcome back to CFC TV. The game between Chelsea and Stoke City has just finished now. It was obviously a great result in the end, but um, you know, um, I'm just gonna run it down quickly. So first of all, the lineup was pretty much like I predicted it. Obviously, Remy started instead of Costa because uh, Jose didn't want to take the risk of starting him. Um, so it was Courtois and goal, Ivanovic as right back. Gary Cahill and John Terry as centre-backs and Aspilicueta as left-back. Cesc Fabregas and Nemanja Matic as holding midfielders. Eden Hazard on the left, Oscar down the middle, William on the right and, as I said, Remy up front. Um, yeah, I mean, as you can hear from my voice, it was a really nerve-wracking game. But, you know, um, we won it, so all good at the end. Um, I want to talk you through the goals first. It was uh, a penalty that got us the one the lead in the beginning. Great play to get us to the penalty when Cesc Fabregas was just clipped a clear penalty and thankfully the referee gave it this time. Um, yeah, Hazard as usual slotted it in and yeah, we thought we, go we were going to go in the break with a one nil lead but then Char Charlie Adams stepped up. Um, you know, it was a 65 yard shot and it went in, Courtois couldn't get there early enough to clear it over the bar. And, you know, I mean, at the beginning I was like, well, how how can that happen? He That that cannot happen to a goalkeeper. Then someone, like, some people who I talked to said that that's where the goalkeeper is supposed to be. And he's supposed to be standing, and I suppose that's right. But I just saw the interview, the reaction interview of Jose Mourinho, and even he said that... They worked on this kind of thing in the preparation for the game, and they know that Charlie Adam is capable of these kind of shots. So the coach should be reading the game a little bit better. But you know, I mean, maybe it was his fault, maybe it wasn't. But I, to be honest, I think he should have done better there. Maybe one or two or three yards further back when he was like waiting and standing to like to read the game, and he would have been there to save it. But you know, um, then second half it was obviously after that goal it was nerve-wracking and um, it was a different game again because after the goal we were cruising through and everything was good really but um, the second half started off very difficult um, Diego Costa came on which is obviously kind of a risk as like as Mourinho said he didn't start him so he's obviously not 100% fit and um, we got punished for it because after 11 or 12 minutes or what was it um, Costa picked up the same injury in his hamstring again. He was running and then he suddenly sort of limping and waved towards the bench that he has to be substituted. And it looked much worse than it did against Hull because he was really limping and couldn't properly walk. And against Hull he could. So they would probably rule him out for another four weeks at least, maybe five. And yeah, that's obviously not great. But after that, it was a throw of Begovic, their keeper. Um, William intercepted a great sharpness by him. Passed it to Haza. Haza went through the defense and then, really unselfish, gave it to Remy, who just had to tap it in. And Remy was there again. He did it against Hull. He did it today. He saved us. And yeah, I mean, we all know how good and how important Diego Costa is. But if we have another striker who can do these kind of things, even though he hasn't been, he had, like he wasn't great through the whole game, but that was simply because of their way of defending and how tall and strong their defenders was, and he's not maybe the best striker to play against this kind of defence. But, you know, he saves us in the end. Um, obviously, the performance all in all wasn't great. We played some good football, but it wasn't the greatest performance of all. But that's it doesn't matter, you know. We've got eight, ga eight games to go, and um, we just need to win. We just need to win as many games as we can, and then hopefully and probably we'll lift the title in the end. Because... You know, it doesn't. We don't have to win four nil, five nil. We just have to win. We have to pick up the three points, and that's the most important thing. One player that I want to really pick out is Eden Hazard because he's he's just immense. Like every single game, he's like three, four, five classes better than every other player on this pitch. Doesn't matter if it's our players, the opponents. He's just better than everyone. Like if he doesn't win the Player of the Year award, I'm you know the FA really have to look at themselves and probably have to change a lot because he, he is incredible. He obviously took the penalty, he created the second goal and he was he was in everything. Every attack that we had was led by Hazard. So yeah, I mean um 
as I said, it's really vital that we that we win every game, or that we win the remaining games and as as many as we can. And this win was really vital as all the other teams today won the games, like all the other contenders. Arsenal did, United did. Obviously, City play on Monday, but um, Arsenal and United won their games today. So it was really important to win and keep the gap as big as we can. Um, there was a really funny incident towards the end when, like, uh, we obviously only wasted time. And then it, they had a goal kick and Drogba just walked up to Begovic and just kicked the ball away, just, like, for fun, you know. <laughs> and, um, you know, I mean, he obviously picked up a yellow card, but it was just hilarious because it's so smart. It's not just time-wasting, it's all, all also, like... He's taken the Stoke players because they gained some momentum at that point, like tried to attack more and get something out of it towards the end. But they're like, they, he just stopped their momentum. They were angry about him. They were angry about the situation. They were more focused about that than about getting the goal. So that is really smart, obviously, because he knew he's not going to get sent off for it. So one yellow card won't do him any harm. It was really good and very, very funny as well. So as I said, eight games to go for us, seven games to go for the others. And we just need five wins and one draw. And that no matter what all the other teams do, we will be champions. And that is that is amazing, you know. Um, so guys, I hope you liked the video. And um, if you did, please subscribe and hit the like button. And yeah, see you next week for the QPR match.